Are you an ally, meaning somebody who sits back and watches the other teachers of color do that social justice work? Or are you an accomplice, somebody who rolls up their sleeves and say, hey, what can I do to help? How can I use my privilege to help you and your students help our students do this? White teachers, that's hard. Knowing when to step up and when to fall back. That is the hardest thing to do in this era of social justice. But you can use your privilege and your, and your abilities to build relationships to help them. That's what being an accomplice, accomplice is. It's helping them do the work of dismantling systems. In, in the words of Dr. Imran Kinde, are you racist or are you anti-racist? A racist is somebody who commits the acts or somebody who sits in silence while acts of, of racial oppression are, com are committed. Or are you anti-racist, one who says, uh-uh, this ain't happening, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna hold people accountable. And I'm going to quote my friend Sharif el -Mekin. The approach to education has to include social justice. You can't operate a school and ignore the realities that are occurring on a daily basis. You have to because those realities affect every single thing about your students. So what advice would you give other teachers to support social justice movements with their students? Understand that Black Lives Matter, you know, that your struggle is my struggle, that all students deserve diverse, inclusive, accepting, welcoming, safe spaces in our schools. It's not just the job of the teachers of color to do that. I think my friend Jose Wilson said, a black teacher might come into a school thinking they're gonna teach math, but pretty soon they realize that their job is building relationships, af affirmations, multiple representatives of math, but then they have to be the culture expert. amenable to somebody wanting to help her. All and right. I can frame most issues on race in a disability rights framework too to speak to her in that way. Awesome. I will say that Leslie and Ian both ran on the Democratic ticket in the yep. last year. So they did. They better act right. We talked to him along with uh, President Pastor Michelle Thomas, um, but we haven't heard much from him. All right, moving right along. So Keep that in, in mind when we send the minutes, I can update where we are as far as the nine seats. Um, and let's try to ensure that we have someone aligned with each person. I think that would be great.